Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I thought it was about time to do an update on that recipe that I put out, I think it was last August or something, for the paper cement clay, our outdoor recipe for the sculpting uh, garden and yard art. That recipe was kind of my experiment to see if we could create a recipe that would let us make outside sculptures with the same easy methods that I use when I make inside sculptures. And I just went out and got my toad. It's been cold here in Minnesota. He has been sitting outside ever since I made him under snow. And at times he had like a foot of snow on top of him. It was really hard for me to not go out and save him and dig him out from under the snow and bring him in the house because I really like this guy. But he was our experiment and I, I needed to leave him out there to see how it was going to do. Now I didn't really intend to do an update until spring, but he the, the snow melted a couple of days ago and it's getting ready to snow again. We're supposed to get another foot um, tomorrow. So I thought I would go ahead and just check on him just to see how he's doing. Uh, I think you can see that he's holding up really well. The, the paint is doing really well. The, the paper cement clay that he's made out of is just still as hard as a rock. There has been absolutely no change to this since the day I put it out. I did have it sealed with this stuff, the Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Enamel. And so this experiment really was to check to see if the paper cement clay recipe would hold up outside in Minnesota all winter. But it also is an experiment for this stuff. I have no idea how well the recipe would do if you didn't seal it. I and mean, just the extra protection, it's just really necessary anyway. And it helped the paint. He was sitting right next to the gnome. And um, I made the gnome with different materials. I used epoxy clay, which worked great. And I worked, uh, used some grout. Both of those are holding up really well. But the paint that I put on the gnome uh, failed like within a couple of weeks. Uh, and I did a whole video on that before. I think it was because I uh, probably used the wrong sealer because he's looking pretty, pretty tired right now. <laughs> But this guy, there has been no change to the paint at all. And he is still hard as a rock. So I'm now going to say that as far as I'm concerned, the paper cement clay recipe is no longer experimental. But I do want to say that just because it worked really well here in Minnesota with the kind of sealer that I used, the way that I made it, uh, the place that I put it outside, you know, there's a lot of different variables that... I cannot control in your environment. So if you're thinking about making a whole bunch of these for presents for people, or if you want to uh, spend many, many hours making something that you're going to leave outside all winter wherever you live, or if you're even thinking about making a whole bunch of something to sell on Etsy or something, make sure that you do your own research. The fact that it has worked for me really well so far doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work exactly the same way for you. So make sure that you do your own research. It wasn't hard, just make something and put it outside. <laughs> a lot of people are already doing that. Now I got a little bit ahead of myself because it isn't spring yet. We are expecting people to get back to us uh, a little bit later. When we do get reports back in from other people, I will be posting those and, and letting you know. So make sure that you watch for those. So that's enough of the, of the toad. I'm really happy with him, but now I'm gonna go put him back outside. But don't go quite yet, because I do have a, a question for you. I, I need a recommendation for my next experiment or project, I guess you could say. A lot of people ask me to recommend a commercial uh, product for, for an air dry clay. I, I don't really know what to say when they're asking me about it because I don't usually buy stuff like this. I have made one thing before. I made this little rabbit with DAS, I think it was, air dry clay, which worked really well. And that was like three or four years ago. So I decided, well, it's time to play around. But I want to make an actual sculpture rather than just something flat. And like most of the videos that I see out on YouTube for air dry clay projects, they're, they're like rolling it out into a flat sheet and then making it into something. And that doesn't actually sound like fun to me. Uh, I want to want to sculpt something. So if you have an idea for something that you would like to see me play around <laughs> with this stuff and, and see what we can do with it, um, please put a recommendation down below in the comment section. I only have two of these packages. 
I will put an armature under it of uh, aluminum foil just so it will go a little bit farther and so maybe that will keep it from cracking but it can't be huge. So if you have any ideas for what you would like to see me do while I'm playing around with my new clay, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll go ahead and read through all of your comments and I will pick one, just whichever one looks like the most fun for me. And in the next video, I'll show you um, how it worked out. Uh, because a lot of people are asking me about the shrinking and cracking of commercial air dry clay, it probably is going to take a couple of weeks before that video comes out because we won't know how it acts until it's actually completely dry. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So be sure and watch for that video. And in the meantime, go make something and come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.